Are you absolutely certain of your eternity? Heaven and hell are real, and one choice changes everything. If you've ever wondered if you're truly saved, don't leave it to chance. In this video, we'll uncover what the Bible says about making sure you're on the path to eternal life. You can have assurance today. Hey everyone, welcome to The Authentic Podcast. My name is Christian, and I've been a Christian for most of my life dedicating myself not only to studying the Bible, but truly living it out. Together with my amazing wife, we co-founded a Christian nonprofit with a heart for sharing the love of Christ with the world. Not only am I passionate about our nonprofit, but also teaching God's word and helping others experience his truth in a powerful and authentic way. If you're ready to grow in your faith, you just happen to be in the right place. All right, let's dive in. One of the most important questions we can ever ask is, how can I be certain I am going to heaven? The Bible provides a clear and unwavering answer. Salvation and eternal life are found through faith in Jesus Christ alone. Many people wonder if they are good enough to make it to heaven, but scripture teaches us that no amount of good works can secure our place in God's presence. Instead, it is by God's grace through faith in Jesus that we receive the promise of eternal life. Let's discuss five points surrounding salvation. Point number one, salvation by grace through faith. The Bible makes it clear that salvation is a free gift, not something we can earn. Ephesians chapter two, verses eight and nine states, for it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by your work, so that no one can boast. Grace means that God, in his mercy, offers us something we could never deserve, the forgiveness of our sins and eternal life. Faith means trusting in Jesus Christ and his finished work on the cross to save us from our sins. This is a relief to anyone who feels burdened by the thought of trying to be good enough to get into heaven. The, the truth is, none of us could ever be good enough on our own. The Bible says that we all fall short of the glory of God. But through Jesus, we are made righteous in God's sight. Point number two, Jesus is the only way to the Father. Jesus himself said in John chapter 14, verse six, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. This is a bold and exclusive claim. Jesus is not one of many ways to heaven. He is the only way. No other religious leader or philosophy can bridge the gap between humanity and God. It is only through Jesus' sacrificial death and resurrection that we can be forgiven and granted eternal life. When Jesus died on the cross, he took upon himself the punishment for our sins, making it possible for us to be reconciled to God. His resurrection from the dead proves that he has defeated sin and death. Hallelujah. And now he offers eternal life to all who believe in him. Topic number three, confessing and believing. The Bible is clear about how we can be certain of our salvation. Romans chapter 10 verse 9 tells us, If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. This verse gives a simple yet profound explanation of what it takes to be saved. Salvation comes by confessing Jesus is Lord, recognizing his authority, and surrendering to his will, and believing that God raised them from the dead, affirming that he is the living Savior who has conquered sin. Notice that this promise is definitive. You will be saved. There's no uncertainty here. When we confess Jesus is Lord and truly believe in his resurrection, we can rest in the assurance that we are saved. This salvation isn't based on our feelings or the quality of our performance. It is grounded in the finished work of Jesus. Topic number four, eternal life through Jesus. Another powerful assurance of salvation is found in 1 John chapter 5, verse 12, which says, 
whoever has the son has life. Whoever does not have the son of God does not have life. This verse makes it crystal clear. If you have a relationship with Jesus, you have eternal life. Eternal life is not something we have to wait for in the future. It begins the moment we place our faith in Jesus Christ. When you accept Jesus as your savior, he gives you his life, an eternal, unbreakable relationship with God. Man, what an amazing promise. To have the son means to believe in him, to trust in him, and to make him the center of your life. This verse leaves no room for doubt. If you have Jesus, you have eternal life. And the last topic, topic number five, walking in faith and confidence. Once you've placed your faith in Jesus, you can walk in the confidence that you are saved and heaven is your eternal home. This assurance doesn't come from our ability to live a perfect life, but trusting in Jesus's perfection and his promise to save those who believe in him. It's important to understand that this assurance isn't based on feelings once again, which can fluctuate, but on the unchanging truth of God's word. In 1 John 5:13, it says, "I write these things to you who believe in the name of son of in the son of God, so that you may know that you have eternal life." God wants us to be confident in our salvation, not doubting or fearful, but trusting in his faithfulness. You can be certain of going to heaven through faith in Jesus Christ. The Bible makes it clear that salvation is by grace through faith and not by works. Jesus is the only way to the Father, and when we confess him as Lord and believe in his resurrection, we are saved. Once again, that Romans 10, 9 verse gives us that assurance of the declaration from our mouth and the belief in our heart. And that 1 John 5, 12 reinforces that who has those who have Jesus has eternal life. If you placed your trust in Jesus, you can live with confidence that heaven is your eternal home and that you are secure in his love. If you've never given your life to Christ and you would love to do that right now or just be certain of your salvation after hearing these biblical truths on how to secure it, I would just invite you to pray with me right now, right where you're at. So Father, I come to you as a sinner. I recognize that your son was a real person, that he was God in the flesh, that he came to die for my sins that he was crucified on the cross, buried for three days. And on that third day, he rose the firstborn of death with the keys of death in his hand. And because of his grace, by faith in him, I can be saved today. So Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart, make a home with me and change my life and turn it towards you. In Jesus name. Amen. If you prayed this prayer, please put in the chat. I gave my life to Christ and I just want to celebrate you and pray for you in Jesus name. Bless you guys. Amen. If you're looking to go even deeper into the topics we cover here on the authentic podcast, I invite you to become a paid member of the channel by enrolling. You'll unlock exclusive resources like in-depth teachings, private live streams for healing, deliverance and prophetic words plus activations to help you grow spiritually. These member only tools are designed to take your faith to the next level. So head on over to Authentic Podcast on YouTube and join today. Let's continue this journey together.